What's up, my gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous beauties? Trust your intuition for divinely guiding you to this particular reading. I promise you there is a message about this full super moon. I do know it was two nights ago, right? So <laughs> don't come for me, but I saw the moon last night. It was big as hell. I really felt a pull to do a reading about you know, the surprises that are gonna come with this moon because full moons are all about reveals, surprises, shockers, secrets being exposed. So I had to use this energy. I mean, it's not gonna come back around until 2037. So what is that, 14 years from now is when the next super blue moon is gonna come about. So I had to take advantage of this energy. Full moon, really any moon phase lasts about three days anyway. So we're still in this energy. So let's see what's going on for you. I really want to dive into what secrets are being exposed. So I'm hearing so clearly to start with the tarot. So if you found your way to this reading or this reading found its way to you, do know that there is a divine message in here for you. There's something that is being revealed with this full super moon. We have the, oh, okay. <laughs> There's gonna be a tower moment. Let's see what's going on. Tell me more about this tower moment for the beautiful souls watching this. What is this tower moment about? Okay, we have the ace of stars in reverse. Could be a loss of money, finances in some way. Let's, let's get going. A redirection in career, loss of job, the sun. Yes, they're telling me to take a fourth. Okay. So this is kind of feeling like already like someone's going to lose a job or a job's going to go out the window in one way shape or form and then we need the chariot love it love to see it okay bottom of the deck energy i'm going to put it to the side the seven of moons in reverse which is like the seven of cups scorpio energy and clarifying that is the four of stars that's capricorn energy all right, so the tower, it's a shit show, right? Shit's crumbling with the tower. People are falling out the window. It's like a moment of enlightenment in this crazy shit show. So with the ace of stars next to it in reverse, upright, this is like a new job, career, direction in terms of money, something money related. But in reverse, or something practical, in reverse, I'm feeling like the tower is going to be a job loss or a layoff or something that's redirecting you in terms of career. It might not be that exactly, but I feel like there's a big material loss here with the tower and the ace of stars in reverse. But then we have the sun. So the sun is breaking through, right? It parts the clouds. There's something bright that you can look forward to after this tower moment happens, whether it's in relation to money, career, finances, whatever this tower moment is, this could even be like family drama. But with the sun, it's all clearing out. There's going to be a new bright, happy energy. This is the brightest energy in the tarot deck. And we have three major arcana. So big shit's going on. Major events are happening, especially coupled with that ace too the chariot it's almost like you get back on your feet the sun is brightly shining again but with the chariot the fastest moving energy it's like your go 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 it's it's this energy of something didn't work out but then it's almost very intentional so that something else does work out bottom of the deck i'm taking this as the intention the seven of moons in reverse to me this is detox energy overstimulation overwhelmed energy so you got to let some things go because upright this is about choosing this is about options selection so in reverse it's like okay i need to let some options go i'm getting something about tunnel vision instead of focusing on a bunch of you know different things this is focus on one thing clarifying that the four of stars in reverse four of stars is like the four of pentacles this is lack energy impoverished energy holding on for dear life to the bare minimum so in reverse it's like you know what i'm gonna start embracing my big energy i'm gonna start really realizing it's like okay let's just say this is a scenario right you're getting let go of from a job i feel like that is divine let me move this little bell up it's divine in the sense that Maybe that job, even if you were getting paid good money or maybe you applied for a job that you didn't get, you're starting to realize that that is actually small thinking, waiting for your money. It's almost like you have the power to make that money however much you want to make, whenever you want to make it, 
as soon as possible whenever you want to do it this feels like you're just really getting on your own ish and I feel like you're kind of ignoring the circumstances. This to me is about ignoring the 3D and focusing on the 5D, where you want to go, where you're headed, where you want energy to flow. What is that saying? Energy goes where intention flows or energy. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? This is all about figuring out where you want to be, direction. I keep hearing the word compass coming through, but there's something about breaking free of circumstances especially if they're unfavorable. All right, let's get more from my lovelies watching this. Let's talk about the surprise coming through. And I feel like it's a big surprise with that sun and the chariot. It's like something big is happening. This is a good surprise. All right, tell me more. I keep hearing shuffle. Tell me more about this super moon, what it's revealing to the beautiful souls watching this. Tell me about this breakthrough. I mean, with the sun literally breaking through the bricks, I'm 100% getting breakthrough energy. Oh my God. Let me put these back. All right. So we have future love letter. I love you. Why do I feel like you're writing this to yourself with that mirror energy? And then we have Oren Mila, great diviner. So there's magic working out for you. There's a lot of magic working out for you. I'm hearing to take one more. One more for the souls watching this. What do they need to see? What are they magnetizing towards? What's the energy for the people watching this? I keep hearing take this one out. Gratitude rampage. It's already happened. So even if you're like, oh my God, I lost my job or, you know, I was expecting a big income or there's something you were expecting, do know that in the 5D, it already happened, right? There's no such thing as time in the 5D. Everything is happening all at once. So this is really about alignment and getting into the reality that you want to align with. You know what? This looks weird. I'm going to put these down. <laughs> all right. You know what? Yeah, let's get this spread right. This really feels like there's something that uh, it's almost like this super moon is removing what needs to be removed, right? Full moons are all about release. Before, I mean, when it becomes full, it's about the manifestation of something. But then after the full moon, it's all about release. So I feel like you're releasing a part of your 3D life, whether it's a job, whether it's a habit, it could even be a person or a toxic family, whatever it is, you're releasing that ish. And there's something bright, beautiful, new that's coming through. I'm hearing shiny new object syndrome without the syndrome. Because, you know, that's when people are like, ooh, something new. Let me focus on that and leave the old behind. But this time, it's like you actually need to leave the old behind and accept this new thing. So there's something new coming into your vibration. I want to dive a little bit more into what that is. But start saying thank you now. I'm hearing that so clearly. Start being grat start being gratitude or the vibration of gratitude. Start being grateful. Start being thankful for whatever this is before it even comes. For some of you, you already know what this is. For others, you're like, what the hell are you talking about? Whatever it is, start saying thank you in advance. I feel like there's a big message about that. All right, tell me something more for my beauties watching this. What do they need to see for this super moon, this blue moon that's not coming back around until 2037? What's going on? Flip out what they need to see about this blue moon, this super moon. What's the reveal here? Fall apart, of course. That makes sense with the tower. Things fall apart, things come down. Smoky quartz. Which reminds me, I saw some smoky quartz yesterday um, in this crystal shop I was in, and I was so going to get it, but that just reminded me I definitely need to get back on that. So happy I did this reading. So there's definitely something falling apart. That's 100% a fact, but it's definitely for something better to come in. Tell me more about this energy of whatever's coming in what's falling apart tell me about the reveal for the super moon this blue moon flip out the perfect answer man they're making me work for this one thank you all right of course we have obsidian sharp and shadows there's something being cut off here a thousand percent it's all over this 
something is being cut from your life, which makes sense with full moon energy. It's all about release, letting go. So don't be surprised. And they want me to show you the bottom anchor in hematite. So do know that when an energy leaves, something else has to come in to fill the space. And I feel like that's what you're anchoring in right now. I feel like you're using your magic. Great diviner. You know, you're using your powers of persuasion, your powers of influence to start focusing on what you actually want to come to fruition. Let me grab this one debating which deck to grab over here they don't want me to grab this one next okay all right tell me more about what's coming in oh i love it triumph success victory achievement number 19 which is actually the number of the sun card so there's definitely going to be a win let's talk about that win we have merit making of course Goodness, humanist, morality, 64, breaks down to a 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 9 on the sun card is 10. 10 is definitely, I'm hearing 10 as a win. So if you start seeing uh, the number 10 everywhere, do know it's a sign of winning for you. But with merit making, I'm just, I'm looking at that word merit. There's something about achievement in here. We have confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom, 56. And I feel like that's what you're breaking away from. Anything that made you feel like, you know, you couldn't do something or there were restrictions or there were blockages. It's like you're getting rid of that energy or something that was a blockage in the way of this triumph or merit. Sweet dream. And of course, we're in a Pisces full moon. So that really makes sense. Pisces is the dreamer. So your dreams could be going off at this point. Satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day, 39. And there could be something literally about your dreams that are coming through or even daydreams, you know, um, or what you want to accomplish in life. I feel like this is the time to go after your dreams, accomplish what you want to accomplish. Let's get some more in here. You know what? I keep grabbing decks and then deciding I want to use another deck. All right, tell me more. What's the deal? Let's talk about what's coming to fruition because I definitely see you winning at something and I feel like it's kind of like a solo win with that sun, the chariot. You're going off on your own. You're like, fuck it to whatever did not work out. I'm going to make sure that what is working out is going to be a triumph, is going to be a win. Tell me more. Tell me more for the souls watching this. What do they need to see? Okay. We have the captain, and it's funny, I said a solo journey. This lantern reminds me of the hermit card, which is all about solo introspection. So the captain taking command, teamwork. Yeah, you're going to start something. For some of you, you're, for I don't know why I'm hearing like soccer mom or soccer dad. For some of you, maybe, you know, you're debating if you want to, you know, be the head of your or the coach for your, your kid's team or something like that. But I feel like there's this energy of, being the leader, taking control, especially with great diviner, the chariot, the sun. There's something that you are starting. For some of you, this is a business. Let's talk more about that. Tell me more about the captain. We have the sleeper. That's interesting with sweet dream. Cause and effect clarity. So being mindful of your dreams at this point, they're really going off right now. I've had some crazy dreams in the last few days, <laughs> the last few nights, I should say. Um, but Pisces energy is all about the ethereal, the spiritual, the other realms, the astral realm, dreamer energy. So pay attention to your dreams, kind of getting that too with the sun. You know, when you wake up, there's the sun. So there's something that I feel like even with the ace of stars, it's going on in the astral realm. Um, your dreams could literally be premonitions at this time or speaking to you, trying to get you, um, I don't want to say to do something, but to encourage you to act on something, which I guess is kind of doing something. So I love this. Okay, 
We have the diviner, divine timing evaluation, and then we have the great diviner right there. So you guys are absolutely working on your magic. For some of you, you know, maybe you're starting a garden, you're starting, you know, you want to plant so that you can receive a harvest. I definitely see that happening for you. And then this other one fell out, which makes so much sense. We have the champion, achievement, downfall, and then that makes sense with triumph and merit. So there's something that you're going after that you're really going to win at. This is something that's a guaranteed win. There's no way you can lose at this because I feel like this is the energy of something that's truly for you. Like, it's not like you are embodying, what do they call that? Uh, when you're trying to go, imposter syndrome. When you're trying to go after something and <laughs> it's like you are way out of your league here. That's not what I'm getting. Whatever this is, it is for you. It's a thousand percent for you. And I feel like you're cutting off whatever had you not in that energy the bottom of the deck is the pathless and i feel like that's what you're cutting off difficult decisions lack of direction you have direction here all right let's get more let's get more from my beauties watching this tell me about this reveal what is this full moon this powerful blue moon guiding these people into let me pick that off the floor All right, so we have wine, developing over time, flavor, family, legacy, the good stuff, finesse, alchemy, transformed, ripening, age as well. Love this. I feel like this is something that you could do all lifelong, right? You know, modeling or acting or a lot of things in the entertainment industry. It kind of has a time limit. But for you, I feel like this is something that gets better and better over time, better with age. And I'm getting something with that four energy. This is like a foundation, and I love that it's like a heart energy right there. There's This is like a foundation of something you're starting. So this could be the very beginning of an empire. You know, this could be the beginning of a legacy. This could be the beginning of, you know, generational wealth. And I think it's stemming either from your literal dreams, maybe you're dreaming about this thing, or your daydreams, what you want to go after, you know, your goals in life, what you want to set your mind to. Let's get more for this super blue moon, this powerful moon energy. Some of you are definitely getting into gardening. I mean, it's literally all over this. We have the diviner with the plant there. Wine makes me think of grape vineyards. Um, and then we have garden, public venues, society, crowds, audience, party, meeting, event, a date, community, outdoors, playing the field. Okay, so, and it's funny, we have the four and then we have the eight right there, eight of spades. It actually makes me think of, um, like you're doubling your wealth, you're doubling your growth. And it's funny, <clears throat> I was mentioning 19 and then we have 20. So things are definitely working out for you in divine timing. But some of you are absolutely starting to plant, to grow seeds, um, or I should say plant seeds to grow plants. Um, but there's something that's growing is what I'm getting. And I feel like it's going to become very, very successful with that garden energy. All right, tell me more for this blue moon. What's going on? We have 23 ace. Butterfly, metamorphosis, time, be open, embrace change, evolution of the soul, rising up, inspiration, reinventing yourself. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're reinventing yourself. There was a way in life that you were acting or behaving or it, it was just like not your true path. Right. Maybe you were in and maybe that's why this job or whatever needed to fall away, because it's just like this is not what you were meant to be doing. You know, you were meant for something much better. You were playing small. And I feel like that's why the universe is forcing this energy out. And I think that's what that confinement card is about. It had you confined. It had you not on your highest path. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing now. You're getting on your highest path. I love that we have 22 and then 23. So we have crow memories, remembering mystery, magical power, a new event or happening, clever problem solver, observant and omen. And I think that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, this little flies on there. Okay. Yeah, it wanted to be a part of the reading. All right. So there's something about um, magic with the great diviner, the diviner, the crow is magical power there's something about your power for some of you you might even be tarot readers you might be psychics you could be an oracle there's something about your magic right maybe you're in a into energetic tapping or some type of a technique that you get to kind of spread your magic out and about into the world i feel like there's something 
for a lot of you about magic and clear seeing, but for some of you, there's something literally about gardening. For others, maybe, you know, you're an athlete with that triumph card with, I think this said achievement, the champion achievement. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of different things. Whatever it is, it's like you're meant to be the best at it. They want me to take the one out from the top. Okay, so five. Balance, centered, meditate, integrate opposing forces, flow, feeling complete, awareness, just right, equality, well-being. And I feel like that's what's happening. You're getting into your flow. You're getting into your true divine state. I want to put this a little bit lower right there so you can see the diviner. Yeah, there's something about alignment here. Alignment with your true highest path, your highest calling. All right, I'm going to take my last cards before we go into the charms. All right, tell me about this super moon. What is it revealing? Tell me more about this magical energy that this super moon is revealing to those watching this. I literally said some of you could be an oracle and then we have the oracle's gift coming out. That's amazing. Okay. There's definitely something about clear sight with the oracle. The oracle is a seer. The oracle has clear vision. They're clairvoyant. So there's something about clear vision that's coming through. And again, we have that 10 energy. 3 plus 7 breaks down to a 10. 10 is a win too much they're telling me okay bearing fruit i can't even make it up if you are interested in planting or you know starting seeds like seeds to the full plant like a harvest get on it because bearing fruit i mean that's very specific but i'm also getting something about like a money tree or being very successful with whatever you're doing it feels like there's money on the way it's funny because it started with like money being gone with this reading but now i feel like we're ending it with money is on its way to you like way more money than you ever could have possibly imagined and weirdly with that seven of moons in reverse right that's the intention it's like you have to let go of something in order for more to come in so we have close encounters which i love that with the butterfly oh my god and let it go perfect last card no wonder that wanted to come out 10 is a win so 10 is definitely a huge number but with that butterfly energy i feel like you're metamorphosizing right you're transitioning into the best version of yourself let it go that we start the ending with that and we end with that there's something that is being let go from your life. And I feel like with that cage, it's like, let the cage bird free. Let the cage butterfly free. Some of you are literally diviner. Some of you are very, very magical. Some of you are very psychic. Some of you want to get into planting. Some of you want to be athletes. It's like whatever your biggest dream is, go for it. Because the universe is going to literally make everything fall away so that that can happen. All right. So I'm going to break out my little spiritual box right here so that we can put in the charms and see what you need to know with this full super moon. What's the energy with this full super moon energy coming through for the beauties watching this reading? Get out of here. We have this cage energy again. Okay, so there's something that I feel like has been trapped for a while that you're you're learning how to release. And it's funny because the universe is giving you the keys for this release. And with the heart here, it's like you're following your passion. That's what's going to result in this release, in letting go. So instead of a tower moment, right, I feel like there's something about learning how to navigate your way out of a situation that you don't like. Or that's unfavorable of course we have the sun right and we have the sun car right there if you can actually see it the sun stick it out right there um, but there's something about brightness I feel like whatever it is you're going after you're gonna be really really successful very popular at it the Sun shines a bright light on everything it reveals a lot so I feel like you're really gonna put yourself out there be vulnerable in a really good way um, and with the Eiffel Tower, I get attraction energy. This is one of the world's greatest attractions. So I do feel like whatever it is you're putting out there, it is going to be very popular, very attractive. People come all over the world to see the Eiffel Tower. And there's also something about 
I feel like taking you all over the world with this energy because for most people this is kind of like a far away place so I feel like whatever this is it's gonna take you very far so something's telling me to break out my astro dice for this you know what this one wants to be rolled so I'm just gonna roll it separately and they're telling me to roll it first well, let's see what comes through in terms of, this would be astrological signs. Oh, of course, we land on Pisces, which the full moon is in. So you could be a Pisces watching this. This is a really, really powerful, powerful um, moon that we're in, right? So it's a super moon, it's a blue moon, which means it's also a full moon twice in a month. Um, and the super moon energy, this is like very, very, a huge gravitational pull. This could also indicate that something is gonna happen around Pisces season when you get started now, which is not that far away actually. But let's see what's going on through the Astrodites with this super moon reveal, with this blue moon reveal, what's going on? Of course we have the moon coming out, the moon in Leo. And the new moon was in Leo. Oh my gosh, look at me. It's funny, it landed on sad, which is the archer going the distance. So the moon is all about our intuition, our flow, our emotions, energy and motion. So Leo energy is all about the heart chakra. So there's something about following your heart's greatest joy, blah, 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 your heart's greatest joy, your truest passion. In the 12th house, this is Pisces energy. I'm not surprised to see that again. No wonder they wanted me to pull that one out too. So the 12th house, this is all about spirituality, ethereal, dreamer energy. There's this huge follow your dreams message in here. Because if you don't, the universe is going to provide a scenario, provide a scenario where you get knocked on your ass, everything that you are living falls to the wayside because you are not living your highest timeline. So that's what this balance is about. Get your shit together, live your highest dreams. I need to see this message thing, <laughs> like for real. But yes, I appreciate you for being a part of this reading. If you are interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, yeah, in the meantime, follow your motherfucking dreams, mother loving dreams. I will talk to you later. I'm gonna do another reading in just a few minutes about um, what the supermoon is revealing for your love life. So stay tuned for that. And I will talk to you later very soon.